Hello, we're at the new section, GANs and Computer Vision. Let's begin with the first video, Implementing Generative Adversarial Networks. First, we understand Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs. It is hard to determine the quality of examples produced by GANs. A lower loss value doesn't always represent better quality. Often, for images, the only way to determine the quality is by visually inspecting the generated examples. We can then determine whether the generated images are realistic enough, more or less like a simple Turing test. In this video, we will introduce GANs by using the well-known MNIST dataset and the Keras framework. We start by importing the necessary libraries. By using Keras, we can easily import both datasets with these lines of code. For our GAN, we need to define three network architectures. Let's start with discriminator model using these lines of code. Next, we will define generator model using these lines of code. Finally, we can create our networks and the combined network using these lines of code. Before we train our GAN, we need to define a function to plot the generated images using this code snippet. We will now start training our GAN. While training our model, we will output the results. This is the output after 2,000 steps, then 3,000 steps, and then 4,000 steps. This is the output that we will get after 5,000 steps, then 6,000 steps, after then 7,000 steps. This is the output after 8,000 steps. Here is the output after 9,000 steps. Now, we implement deep convolutional GANs. The MNIST dataset has a low translation invariance, so it's easier for our network to generate these examples. In the early days of GANs, the networks were very unstable, and small changes could mess up the output. In 2016, DC GANs were introduced. In DC GANs, both the discriminator and the generator are fully convolutional, and the output of DC GANs has proven to be more stable. Let's increase the complexity of our dataset by using the Fashion MNIST dataset and demonstrate how to implement DC GANs in PyTorch. We will start by importing the necessary libraries. After that, we will define our discriminator network in a function. In this function, we will use the normal init function, which we will be using in the generator as well. We will define it like this. Next, we will define generator using this code snippet. To plot multiple random outputs during training, we create a function to plot the generated images. Let's create both networks by calling the defined functions, followed by initializing the weights. Next, we need to make sure we use CUDA. For GANs, we can use the binary cross entropy loss using this line of code. For both networks, we need to set the optimizers with these settings. Now, we will start training our networks with this block of code. In this figure, we can see the output after running our networks for 24 epochs. 